Hello and welcome to another EH Productions chemistry video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make some sodium silicate, also known as water glass. Alright, so what you need to do is you need to get a scale and I put on top of the scale a cup. Here I have a bunch of these silica gel packets and I'm going to cut them open and I'm going to weigh them on this scale. As you can see it is uh, zeroed out over there. Okay, so I'm going to now cut these packets open. Here I have approximately um, 13 grams of this, but that's okay because uh, later when we crush it up, we'll uh, weigh it out again. As you can see, there are some uh, um, brown colored silica gel beads, and uh, you want to discard that because that will discolor the solution later. So next, what you want to do is you want to now get a aluminum pie pan and I'm going to carefully pour in the silica gel like so. This is so we could pulverize the silica gel. Now before you pulverize it, uh, take your time to take out all the discolored beads like so. Alright, as you can see now we only have the clear silica gel and I uh, put all the colored silica gel in this cup and you can just discard that. All right, now we're going to uh, take this to the floor. All right, here it is on the floor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another aluminum pie tin over it, approximately the same size. Well, this one's exactly the same size. And we're just going to uh, close it like this. Just uh, slightly close it so none of the silica gel flies out. And now, get a hammer. And we're going to pulverize this. Alright, let's take a look at it really quickly. As you can see, it is now a uh, fine powder. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to get a funnel. And we're going to pour in 10 milliliters of water. I actually have 20 milliliters here, but I'm going to pour in half of it first. Next, we're going to pour in 8 grams of sodium hydroxide. The water is already really hot. And now we're going to use the remaining 10 milliliters of water to wash the um, rest of the sodium hydroxide that might have stuck on the funnel. Alright. Alright, now we're going to start to heat the solution up using an alcohol burner. Okay. And you doing it that way we're gonna try to dissolve as much of the sodium hydroxide. Now we're going to start to add in a small amount of the crushed silica gel into the mixture. All right, it's starting to boil. I'm going to take the heat away. And as you can see, even though I took the heat away, the solution is still boiling. And I'm going to add in some more of the silica gel. All right. As you can see, the reaction between the sodium hydroxide and silica gel is very exothermic and uh, once it gets started it'll keep boiling at its own heat and uh, we don't need to even use an alcohol burner. The mixture is starting to boil again and uh, yeah we're going to let it boil a little bit. The mixture is starting to rise up, and that's when we're going to take away the heat because we do not want any of the mixture to uh, spill out. So we're just going to continue heating it and taking away the heat until the mixture has, um, all the silica gel has dissolved into solution.
All right, now that it's done cooling down, I transferred it into a plastic beaker. And there you go. There is your sodium silicate or water glass solution. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be using this in a, a couple of upcoming videos on silicon compounds. And yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.